सब्सक्राइब नाउ एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन नेवर मिस एन अपडेट everyone welcome to kye talks and this is the kye interactive platform today we have with us ms heena lakarsha she is a designer and a mentor too heena lakarsha has been working since two decades in fashion and style best people in the industry to name a few is ms alia bhat mrs alia bhat in razi Bhumi Pendekar, Vani Kapoor, and Disha Patni for the cover page of well-known magazines like FHM and La Official and Zaira Vasim for the National Award. Wow, that is amazing! All right, so she has been styling her ad commercials for Jio, Vodafone, Amazon, and uh, she has also worked with top fashion and educational brand like INF. I N I F T for almost a decade and is here to teach and transform people. Hina believes that everyone is beautiful inside and to show that beauty outside, she will take care of it. Wow! So Hina, we are our audience are actually looking up to you to get them that that style, that aura, that persona, and that beauty. to be in to be you know uh, come uh, coming out from them and you are the correct person to do that so how tell us how this journey began how did how do you ever thought thank you thank you, you so much fatima for inviting me on this platform i am really very happy to be here to share my journey and my, uh, whatever i have done uh, in this life and um, i would be really happy if some if one one thing also from my life inspires a single person and that helps them to become something what i they believe and they dream of so yeah uh, how did it started so uh, to be honest it all started from time i am born because i have been born in the family of designers yes. my mom is a designer my grandmother was a designer so i am basically born the genes of a designers Oh. but yeah to uh, complement that uh, obviously technical knowledge was uh, very important so i did my graduation from uh, inifd after that i worked with inifd for a very long time then i was doing um, customized design for people for my friends and family till uh, a long period of time it was not very commercial or it was not very uh, professionally but it was uh, just helping them look beautiful but obviously then they started planting my style they were like they were liking things so i uh, wanted to take a leap of faith and then i came to bombay and i did a, a course from london school of style which is my styling course uh, right after that i was very fortunate enough to get uh, uh, entered into bollywood industry and then uh, and i i would really thank god and i would thank all the people who love me and uh, have blessings and all shower all the time because of them i just entered a uh, very good places very initially like my journey started where uh, i would say where people's journey end people oh. desire to work with people like uh, dharma production yash raj ajay devgan production salman khan production i started my journey from all of those wow so it it just happened my like my first ad i did was Yash, with yash raj the first movie i did was with dharma production that was razi obviously everybody knows razi so well so uh, i was fortunate enough but that is not actually uh, you know it started not literally from there but it has a journey it, it you know so people generally say that uh, you should not be uh, jack of all and master of none right but i believe that you should be jack of all to be master of one you should keep doing things keep doing things to understand that what exactly you want to do in your life because then you know sometime what happen we just get carried away with people telling us to do this because we all come from our society where people tell us do this you look good 
try modeling you uh, draw well try designing try doing this but actually what gives us pleasure what give us um, happiness is something else and we don't discover it till the time we keep doing things so today when i look back in my life i see i when i connect all the dots i see that okay this is what actually i wanted to do all all my life so i want to uh, impact in la- people's life i want to change their life and i want to be really somebody who 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 can change a little bit from uh, in their lives so right. that's how it all started and today uh, i am where i am yes of course you have achieved a lot and as rightly said is you need to try out bits and pieces so that you ad- ad- assemble that puzzle correctly and in a correct form yeah. so people have to give that risk of life and somewhere they need Definitely. to achieve things because of that risk you will uh, attain that vision of yours and you will succeed and that is what you have actually proved yourself to be yeah so, yes. so many things and you know i'll tell you that um, when i was working with bollywood when i was working with the stars everybody dreamed to do and then people when they see me they like oh wow you have worked with this but that was not the real pleasure where i was getting i was happy obviously everybody is happy you are earning money you are happy but today when i teach normal common people when they uh, send me pictures saying that okay you know uh, this we have got lot, lot many compliments by your suggestions we are looking good at this event or um, i have cracked this uh, deal because i was dressed well for the meeting that gives me more pleasure more happiness than working with uh, a renowned people or renowned name because there i am a small person but here impacting people's life takes a really big difference for me exactly so this is right. what i uh, feel that that's the best part and this had never come if i have not tried all these things exactly this i would have never discovered right right so you need to put your hands on on different uh, aspects yeah. and then you uh, at, uh, somewhere achieve what you really want to get from your life so yes true, so true. tell us what are the factors that gave you this sense of feeling of ach- accomplishment So now you are a big name LKS is a big <laughs> name so what are what are the different factors which helped you for it oh uh, so different factors that help me uh, i mean that gives me a feeling of achievement or accomplishment uh, accomplishment i would not say because there are a lot many things to accomplish and also right. in every day yes. there's a long way to go keep, yeah i just keep evolving every day but yeah when i see people happy i will tell you that there was a girl uh, who was with me uh she was she was not she was very skillful but she was not able to crack a job because she was not presentable and um, i have seen people who are good with their skills who are who know things who can do it but the only thing they are not able to present themselves that well it's not about looks it about the presentation and sometimes they fail because company do not want them to be the face of the uh, company yeah. and uh, that's why they are just lag behind uh, just because they are not presentable enough right. so uh, i just groomed her and uh, we were uh, we took she took a session she, she took three four sessions and today she is working with one of the multinational company wow. and uh, she ke- she keeps uh, sending me messages she keeps uh, sending me thank you sir thank you thank you wow. and that is something which makes me really really happy and that makes me very accomplished what would you say accomplishment i would not say accomplished but that gives me a very uh, i mean i can i can say that gives me a gorgeous orgasm that okay i did it that that is a feeling that that is a nirvana which i want to achieve oh wow <laughs> yes definitely a common person who comes up to you and you style them and you give them that confidence that yes every spe- every person is special and they can do it and yes. then they come back to you with all the acknowledgement and felicitations definitely works uh, the it is a yeah, feeling that works wonder and that get, that gives you motivation to work more 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 every single day exactly i truly truly believe in this so i know you have been working so long and you might have faced challenges right so th- what are the challenges when you faced during this an entrepreneurial journey there might be lots and lots of things you know coming your way i uh okay uh, definitely for everybody it is a challenge but when you face that is a challenge but when you achieve at a particular stage in your life then you think that that was a learning 
that ha- happened that is why we are here right so don't right. take the challenges just take it as a learning just take it as each day one day at one time like okay okay today i have to do this today i have to do this there are times when you will fail and failing is as certain as day and night everybody fails right. but it is more important what you do after that failure you can you can evolve you can cry you can just roll down you can talk out shit whatever but then you have to stand up again you just have to brush up and stand up and be on the mission what you are right. for me it is it is a mission that you are on and you have to keep doing it keep doing it so uh, challenges definitely because uh, shifting into a new city uh, not knowing anybody over here uh, just just came up one day that okay i want to make it big with that dream with that uh, okay how it's going to happen no idea no completely idea. no idea right. it i just jumped in i was like okay let's see i'll see whatever it will happen so that risk uh, you have to take some time and then you just have to keep working on it when i came to mumbai i was clueless to be very honest i was like i don't i didn't even knew that how it will happen i did not have i was not knowing that where i will be staying up or who all will be there but things happen it just every day it was like okay first i have to find a house for myself then i was okay i have to go meet people it happened yeah and that was the only thing which i keep working was that i have to do this i have to do that yes how it was and then the, the as it is said that universe just make ways for you when you are so right. dedicated so much uh, wanting to do something right and if you're passionate about your work definitely god is sitting yeah. up there with his blessings and yes, guiding yes. you and you have to just leave something uh, up to him i mean you have to believe you have to have that faith in him and believe in yourself that okay you will do and he will help right and i completely blindly believe that okay i will just put up what i want in the universe and then rest he will take care right so, exactly. and he has always taken care of me yeah. i'm being very blessed very very happy yeah, very fortunate to... exactly exactly and because of your this uh, uh, goal and this mission that people are looking up to you just because you did it all uh, single handedly you managed so well being a being a being a, a girl who had been from a small town definitely and coming up to yeah. a big town and then facing all the big celebrities of course with confidence is truly deserves a big salute from all of us where do you see uh, your venture in future and what factors will help you reach there so what do you see your venture like lks is a brand right now but now after this what so where do you what do you want to achieve next oh uh, see i i will definitely say that after uh, covid hit we are uh, we have been just our brains have been refired not to plan anything for so long because we don't know what's going to happen next people who have planned in 2015 five years down the line there was a different story altogether yes so i believe that i am just keep uh, doing my good work i am just uh, continue to whatever i am doing and then rest i leave it to god to the fortune whatever it will take right. but definitely i have a bigger goals in my life but uh, that's how it will evolve <laughs> exactly with time with uh, yeah all i i want to say is that all i wish is that i just keep doing good work i just keep helping people i am on a mission to make this uh, place look uh, you know it is it should be for the beautiful people and everybody is beautiful right i i i, I don't even say this i believe is this that everybody can look beautiful even i am not somebody who is uh, who is blessed with very good looks everybody has their own flaws but everybody has their own goals what they want to show and what they want to hide it is just about you know just figuring out that what is that one thing you want to uh, want people to see about you and what is that one thing that you will you don't want people to see about you right. so hiding your flaws and enhancing your beauty is the only uh, mantra to look good right. and i want that simple thing that people should understand it and take it forward right exactly as you uh, uh, rightly said that every person is beautiful inside out yes. you just need to explore your beauty you just need to identify and explore it so definitely well very well said so how has right. this venture actually changed you as a person you might have changed you know down the line what you were and now you see yourself so how, what do you what do you feel 
definitely as an individual i've changed i've grown as a person um so now when i look back in my life and i see that today what i am so because i have i keep meeting so many people in this journey i uh, interact with so many people people one to one so i have um, grown as a person i have stopped judging people because obviously when you know sometimes you don't know the other person's story Stories. and then you just uh, judge them on the outer uh, self or by somebody hearing by somebody else so what i personally believe is that you should not be judging anybody just by their uh, you know outer stories and you don't know what they are going through in their life what you can do is just help them come out of it and if you cannot help them don't judge them don't um, just betray them or do something which will uh, you know put them again Destroy back them. to where they are coming from if you can help them please do it if you cannot please take a keep seat back and be quiet right exactly exactly i think this is this should be the mantra of every individual wherein yeah. you can you yeah. shouldn't be judging people it's a long it's a, you you have no idea what the other person is coming from and what they are doing and how they are managing things so please amazing so wow this is this is actually a um, a word of wisdom which all which you have shared with us and yes one message also we want our audience to know from you that what is that one style message or style mantra which everybody should follow and it should be uniform to everyone what do you feel so uh, i will uh, definitely not say that there is a uniform to everyone because i believe that every individual is a different person and every individual is has to style themselves according to their goal their mantra their traditional uh, values because fashion is a combination of expressing yourself and also aligning yourself with your cultures and traditions or with your community you are living in so it is not that uh, showing your skin is fashion or wearing western clothes is fashion no just being presentable just enhancing your looks is fashion is style so all you have to do is to understand that what is good about you and what is that one thing you feel or you believe that you don't want people to see but just playing with colors silhouettes right. makes you look beautiful so we have It seen your body about, actually you have been playing with beautiful colors and you, you know you know uh, styling up with beautiful pastels and other you know combinations which are which people might think is weird but then that is what your usp is so yes, yes. we so have i to, always say that uh, focus on co- making colors uh, i mean you know colors play a very important role where it comes to color psychology or color uh, because enhancing your beauty the first thing which you notice about something is which color dress the other person is wearing like if you talk to your uh, sister friend you will address her that that pink color dress is nice you will not address what pink color dress so that color is very important so know your color know your color palette which can makes you look beautiful So that is one thing i would say that know what color makes you look uh, brighter cheerful and happier yeah. so that is one thing you should always keep in mind your colors should be right and then your silhouette should be right right exactly so yes of course this has really helped our audience i hope that this will definitely be a, an encouraging factor for our audience who are watching us and who wants to style up and yes if you really want all the styling tips you can approach hina lakarsha with lks and she will she will uh, be there for you to give you that oomph in your life so thank you so much hina it it was a pleasure it was a wonderful thing to talk to you today and thank you, you thank being you. on our show was a great honor for our kye interactive pleasure 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 thank you so much and have a thank great so. day have a, have a great life ahead and all the best to you thank for you your so. future thank you so much thank